we are on our servers. Uh, I have already logged in uh, with administrator ID and password. Uh, in order to uh, create the user ID in Active Directory for our server and for our client machine, uh, we have to uh, jump over to the domain controller server. Here it is. Okay, uh, I have already installed Active Directory uh, domain services and uh, we have some critical warnings as well. Uh, let's ignore at the moment. To create the user ID and password, uh, we will go to uh, Tools, Active Directory, Users and Computers. Uh, it's a little bit slow. This my computer. Okay. Here uh, we can uh, create user uh, by using Active Directory. Uh, you can create user by do doing this right click on users, new, user or uh, you can right click on the surface the same way, new, user. Uh, since we are uh, going to create user ID and password for our cluster servers, cluster server and uh, logon name should be c server let's say next okay it says that uh, this username is already there let's find out Here it is. Uh, in fact, uh, I have already created the user. Let me uh, remove it and uh, we, we will create it again. Okay, the same way, right click, new, user, cluster, last name, server, logon should be C server, means cluster server. Next, define password. Uh, yep, uh, here we can uh, choose that uh, user must change password at uh, next login or uh, user cannot change the password, uh, user should use the, the same password uh, and password nev never expired or account is disabled so user cannot uh, log on with this account. Uh, in this case uh, we are uh, going to mark check uh, user must change the password at next login. Next. Next and finish. Here it is. Okay, uh, for cluster server, uh, we have to uh, add some uh, groups uh, in this. Uh, in order to do that, uh, right click on the user, add group. We have to add domain, check name, domain controller. Okay, and 
successfully added and one more uh, it is enterprise right enter and check click check names enterprise admin okay okay now it is successfully completed okay uh, we have to uh, create one one more user for our client machine right click sorry new user I say test user and login should be I would like to use some numbers in this case 1289421 next password here we are going to use this option next Sorry, what password I have? Next and finish. That's it. We have created our uh, users for our cluster servers and for our client machine. So uh, let's go to our primary and secondary server to join this domain and we will log in with this ID and password and uh, the same way we will do with our client machine. This is our secondary server. Let's go to primary server first. Okay, this is our primary server, server as you can see. <clears throat> In order to uh, join the domain, right click this PC properties okay guys uh, before uh, we uh, do this in fact uh, we have to install a feature of failover clustering and uh, we are currently logged in with uh, admi administrator user and it password so uh, let's do it first add role and features uh, you may skip this page by default. We are going to install role based or feature based installation. Click next. And uh, this is show showing the list of uh, servers. Uh, this is our primary server. We are going to perform this activity on this server. Click next. These are roles. We are not going to add any roles. And click next. Here uh, it is fail over clustering. You just need to uh, mark check on fail over clustering, and this is telling that uh, with this you have to install this, 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 and this. Okay, add features. Next, and install. You can uh, mark this check, uh, restart the destination server automatically if required. Uh, I'm not going to do that because. Uh, we are going to perform another another activity after it after this install in the meanwhile uh, let's go to secondary server and uh, do the same activity uh, this is our secondary server add role and features next role based and feature based next on this server 40.40.4 .40 next in fact uh, my server is uh, responding little bit slow that's why it's taking much time Let's check the status of primary server in the meanwhile. Installation started. Okay, here we go. Uh, since we are not going to add any role, skip this and click next. We will add feature 
fill our clustering here it is okay add these features along with no problem next and click install here you can see that installation has started on primary server uh, you may close this wizard and uh, if you want to check the status again uh, you have to uh, come to th through the same way to check the status uh, so we are not going to close so we will wait for the completion in the meanwhile uh, let's join our client machine to the domain in order to join this uh, client machine installing windows 7 right click on computer properties change settings currently you can see that uh, work group is uh, it is a uh, member of work group currently and uh, we are going to uh, make this a member of our domain controller change settings work group and change domain member of domain uh, our domain is amir.com in this lab as you will as you will uh, click ok it will ask for credentials of domain controller Okay, see, uh, it's welcome to army.com domain. Okay, you must restart your computer. Okay, close and restart now. Installation is almost on our, on our primary server. <coughs> I'm gonna uh, pause this video and uh, if I face any issue, I will share with you. Uh, okay, uh, installation su succeeded on both server, uh, secondary and our primary server as well. Let's uh, join them with a uh, with domain. Uh, in order to uh, do that, uh, right click on the on this computer properties and uh, change uh, you can see that uh, currently we are a member of uh, work group uh, change setting again change and domain here we uh, will write our domain army.com in this example okay put the credentials Welcome to army.com. You must restart uh, your server. Close and restart now. Let's uh, go to our uh, secondary server. Installation succeed, uh, succeeded on secondary server. Close. right click this computer properties
again uh, change and uh, the same way we will uh, give our domain name army.com Okay, key permission. Welcome to domain. Let's uh, restart the server as well. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna pause this video and uh, we will be back.